ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, so here's the five tool player, Zhang Wei Li. Gonna be interesting to see how she approaches the early portions of this round. I can tell you she spoke to us this week about investing in the body. You know she does not discriminate when it comes to attacking the legs as well. Zhang Wei Li is focused on striking here tonight. Good kick. A beautiful right hand. You know, we saw this in the Jessica Andrade fight, her title winning performance. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry, rotates the head outside to a high Take down land and out. Big ground and pound. Beautiful transition. Oh, nice headlock. Ooh, arm triangles in tight. It's getting in very tight. Positional control here. Man, she's got some good ground and pound in her. Putting that part of her game to good use too. She's putting it to great use, just really damaging from the top position. All right, she's got north-south position now on top. Is it just more a dominant ground control type of situation, or are you trying to work for a submission? You can hit the north-south choke, which is you start to sag your weight away, drop your shoulder into their throat, and just really cut off the oxygen. With, with the choke. It's a very difficult thing to finish, but it will wear on your opponent and can weigh them down and wear them out. Nicely done. Oh, you heard the crowd pop after that grueling crowd battle. The athletes make their way back to the feet. The athletes are up, and they need to take in the admiration. The crowd is appreciating the high-level grappling exchanges that they just experienced. Shaunan gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Check out some of the action in that previous round, DC. She certainly kept the stat trackers busy with all those takedowns. All those takedowns and some really nice takedowns. She did a great job of level changing, getting into her opponent, not allowing her opponent to defend before she can secure her takedown. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Second round on the way. To the body in it lands. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Seemed like she wanted out of the clinch there. Oh, I kick. Sean shot there is blocked. Oh, right hand lands again for Zhang Weili. Zhang Weili starting to feel it now, man. She's starting to get off of that right hand. She's throwing it more often now because she has found that she can land it at will. Oh, effective use of the jab by Zhang Weili. Right, Big shot to the head. Big shot lands for both guys. A 
effective strike there by Jean. Nice job by her there to block that shot. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Xiaonan's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Oh, beautiful body kick by her there. Nice. Nicely done. Nice job by her there to block those shots. When you first go to a boxing class, the first thing they say is glue your guard to your face. Her guard's high tonight. Her guard's high and she keeps the elbow down. She does a great job of blocking the cross and down low. Chong's in half guard now. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Yan Xiaonan's got her head going to the guillotine now. Good is that? Well, she's leaking a lot of blood now. That cut is getting worse with every strike length. And the blood is flying. Her confidence is growing. She will continue to try and turn it oh, She's oh, over there. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the up. She can't possibly go where she is right now. Oh. Huge shot. Hold on right here. Back to the feet now. Such a crazy fight. Oh, solid kick right there. 20 seconds to go round two. Oh, my goodness, what a kick. Oh. Ten minutes in the can. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially... Prevent it from being a Well, well, no surprise to see her opponent continue to attack that cut on the bridge of her nose. Nasty cut. Third round underway. Well, pretty good show. And she did not miss there. This could be the end, I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. Big right hand. Oh, that's big. Came of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Quick entry to get Man, in the Great single. And now she's in bump. Xiao Nan's in half goal. Working out of the half goal here. See where does she go? Submission attempt for her now. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, she got out. She I was wrong again, Jobby. It looked like she was done. She was going to tap, but nope. She was able to stay safe, get off to her side, get her arm free, and find safety. Great job. And you were right in her obit. Right in her obituary. Well, she'll ground you and she will pound you. These strikes are really starting to add up. They're starting to add up because now she's more willing to take chances knowing that she can land. Man, these women are putting on a show tonight. The crowd absolutely loving it as they make their way back to the feet. The crowd's going crazy because they just saw two high-level grapplers mix it up on the ground. It was phenomenal to watch. Don Shannon's blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Oh, she is absolutely getting lit up right now. She has certainly changed her approach here in the latter stages of this fight. She is trying to take the judges out of it. That will certainly help that goal.
side, so we'll see how soon she goes to the single leg. Takedown goes for it right there and gets it. I mean, when we spoke to her earlier in the week, she told us what she was going to do. Right. It's insane to watch her implement it so beautifully. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Sean Whaley. She's got it tight. How is she not tapping? I have no idea. She's sitting on her bench right now telling her coaches, I'm good. I'm ready to go. That was just a moment. I'm still going to get the victory. I believe she has to change something. She cannot continue to do the same thing and expect a different result. Ready, fight. Ready. Let's do All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh, she landed another strike to the body there. Very smart to work that body late in the fight when her opponent is fatigued. You didn't see a lot of that from her earlier in the fight. She is certainly getting after it now. Now, oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. in half guard. Continuing to work out of the half guard. You got fight. All right, nice transition into full guard. If you're the top fighter, where do you go from here? Try to posture up, get some big ground and pound off, which will lead to you passing the half guard. A couple hammer fists there for good measure. I mean, that is a big... Shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. Oh, boom. Bolt landed. Just over three minutes to go. Well, she blocked that punch. Well, we could be looking at an epic comeback here. She rocked her significantly, but wasn't able to finish the fight, and now her opponent may be cruise back in. Now try to find a way to work her way back into this fight. It will be on her to once again land one of those punches to try to knock her off this time. Oh, oh you got to keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Trying to kick the leg out. All right, nice job by her to sort of shell up defensively here and prevent any of these shots. Oh, what a shot by her there. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the hospital. She can't possibly know where she is right now. I'm taking such a massive hit. Well, another miss there. She just hasn't managed her gas. Oh. She's got to start looking to finish here. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, she lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the body strikes landed. Didn't see a lot of that earlier on, making up for lost time here. Chong's nose is cut now, and she's starting to deal with some blood in that area. Oh, 
Oh, she blocked the kick there. Nicely done. Okay, Brandy Day on Brilliant. I feel hair like William. 20 seconds left. Oh, how good is that jab by Yan Xiaonan? And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round two. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and they better get going on that cut. I would not say it's critical per se, but getting more severe by the moment. All right, back to the stools we go. She has absorbed a lot of damage. Fifth and final round, forthcoming. Oh, heavy shots raining down. That will do with a huge win tonight. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. So how about it, folks? A huge result for her. She gets the TKO here tonight, and this is a celebration that you can be sure is going to continue deep into the night. What is what she expected? She expected to finish this fight. That's exactly what she did. The party's going to be off the hook because she has planned for it all week. What a phenomenal performance by this young lady. Well, she fancies herself. You ready to fight? You ready? Do it. All right, so here's the perennial flyweight contender and legitimate divisional threat, Caitlin Chukagian. Trains under Henzo Gracie and John Danaher there back on the East Coast. And shout out to her husband, Kyle Sermonara, as well. A hugely unifying force in the corner and career of one Caitlin Chukagian. And she's not overthinking the matchup here tonight. She understands that perhaps her opponent's going to want to put her on her back. But she's putting the time, as she says, the hay's in the barn. And wherever this fight has to play out, she said, I'm getting the finish tonight. Man, she is just breaking her down with volume tonight as she lands another combination. I mean, over and over, she is just landing so many different attacks. It's amazing to watch someone never throw less than three. She's throwing at least three every time she enters. Ooh, big shot land. Well, she told us she wanted to kick more in this one tonight, and she is certainly doing that to great effect. She is doing it, and she's being very effective. She is winning the fight with her legs. Shukagian gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Just over three minutes to go. Able to check the high kick. You know, that's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. Oh, you can see her limping a little bit now. That leg is hurting for certain. Oh, 
Oh, no pad on the foot. That's a solid kick right there. I mean, just all kicks. Not many strikes landing with hands. Well, she's got a good jab. Miss with it there. Right on the button. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can she say punch to the head? Oh, she landed with a solid punch there. Blanchfield's left leg is damaged now. Perhaps it was that last kick that did the damage, but you can see a clear limp that the fighter is dealing with right now. Oh, huge connection fire there. Massive shot, man. How's she going to try to find the next shot that will finish the fight? Oh, nice body shot. Oh, big left. Pretty good kicks there by Aaron Blanchfield. Oh, man, I hate to laugh, but she lands. Oh, she's hurt bad, John. All right, so she's able to work her way back to her feet now. Chukagian's limping. That would suggest that the leg kick is having the desired effect. Rolls out for the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors. Ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, ahead. round two. Oh, she's got to keep pressing if she wants to finish fights. Back to her feet now. Good sign for her there. She can't get So how about this result tonight? She told us in the fighter meeting, I got to get a finish here tonight. She absolutely kept the judges out of it. That is her signature win, and this crowd enjoyed every minute of it. Signature win, John. She has never looked better. She said she was going to get a finish. She got the finish. What a tremendous performance. for the love. 
love. We the new era, so fuck whoever may feel they above. Living delusion is an illusion, it's got to be drugged. Great fight. Great. Good. All right, so Sean O'Malley back for more here tonight, and let's see if he can do what he did his last time out, namely get off to a fast start. That has been something that John Crouch and the Sean O'Malley corner has prioritized. Now let's see if their student can follow suit. for the Sugar Show, Sean O'Malley, realizing particular success with that left hand. Yeah, he's got a great left hand. He's so long for the weight that he pops the jab and he just darts him with the left hand. And you see it on full display right now. Oh, O'Malley gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground. Oh, 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 the top. This fight's going to be over. What a great play of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Just over three minutes to go. Man, his sidekick is just killing the soft right there. He has a really good sidekick. So fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. All right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that's starting to occur. Drives the shin into the rib. Great body kick. Massive head kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas. advantage there with that punch DC. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high and now he's got a hurt bad. Dwalish Willis in half court. Back to the stand up now. Both fighters upright. Well he rocked him but couldn't finish it. He rocked him, hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, Taft is trying to find that shot again. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. That could affect the judging. Oh. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with round two. in the night. Lands another strike upstairs and for his opponent. Both unwilling to take a step back. What a phenomenal fight. Get right here. All right, so from being dominated to in the dominant position, nice reversal on the ground. Now he lands a solid punch. Those are big 
strikes. Oh, man, how many shots to the head can one individual take? I'm not a doctor, but that smell like suggests it might be some sort of finish. Yeah, there might be something wrong with him. He's so swollen, he's so beat up, but he's so tough. That is why he's still standing. Normal people could not still be standing in the middle of an octagon fighting right now. Hats off to him for his toughness, but he ain't gonna get the job done tonight. He did not address it early enough. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. There's a level change here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of his position off the bottom. Good job by the defense to prevent that shot from getting through. All right, so some of the big strike land. Now he looks to try to chase down that pick. Lands a big up. elbow there. Watch out. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. Back to the feet now. Oh, and the high kick lands. Back and forth we go. Now that jab starting to get established. Oh! oh, another ground strike gets through. So now this damage really bears watching, right? His face compromised, and you gotta think it's gonna start affecting his output as well offensively. Well, you gotta look for him to start to make mistakes. Trying to overcompensate for all the shots that he's taken to the face, for all the swelling. I have seen on many occasions where someone... You ready? You ready? Go Third round on the way. And I don't think anyone would have a problem with it. This guy has been battered, he's been bruised, and if you don't stop it for the swelling, he's bad. He didn't like that right there. Oh man, another strike gets through. This could be over soon. Oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that He loaded up there in that high kick. He heard him again. Oh, nice double play. Back to the feet. Oh, rips the body shot there. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his life. Oh, Scott trying to recover here. Oh, this could be over soon. Oh, how about that transition to top position? Beautiful work by Flawless Roy. Oh, and he is... Oh, you can feel the reverberations here in the broadcast booth as he slams 
throws him down there with conviction. You should see that. The moment those two big boys hit the mat, John Paper. It was amazing. Where's that working man camera? Yeah, we need that working man. Right now. <laughs> this table is a mess. <laughs> and that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. Well, we head back to the stools, and hopefully this is not the end of the fight, but I don't have to tell you fans out there, the swelling on the face has gotten extreme, and I do believe this fight could end at any moment. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth yeah. round, fight scheduled for five five minute rounds. Clipped him with a right hand there. Oh, nice shot. Play shot there, PC. He is officially rough. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect. 